What is going on YouTube? So coming back today with a video that I promised yesterday and that is Kevin Durant's best landing spots and um, just talking about where I think he's going to end up after this set of free agency. So I've got a list right here of what I think will be the top three landing spots, the top three teams that have the best chance of getting them and then top three I call what if spots like if you want to you know think of places that it would be fun if he went but he probably won't go that's basically this list so let's go ahead and start with his top three landing spots in no particular order i've got the golden state warriors his home team right now the oklahoma city thunder and then also the san antonio spurs three teams that are the three probably the three best teams in the west right now and either one I think whatever one lands him, I'm going to make a bold prediction right now and say, let me adjust the camera a little bit. I'm going to make a bold prediction right now and say whatever team lands him is going to be the favorite out of the West this year. Now, the Warriors, yeah, they, they could be the favorite out of the West either way, but I think they were a little bit exposed in the NBA Finals and showed that, you know, they, they can be brought back down to earth. I mean, obviously that was exposed in the Western Conference Finals as well. The Thunder were very, very close to beating them. So, talk about my top three what-if spots. I have the, Jesus Christ, this thing keeps slipping all over the place. So, my top three what-if spots. First one is the Boston Celtics. Second one, the Indiana Pacers. Third, the New, third, the New York Knicks. I'm going to post these li or that little short list in the description below if you guys just want to look at the list or forget what team I said or something. Anyway... Um, talk about the what if spots because that's the fun thing to talk about. Boston Celtics, he's talked about going to. I think if any team in the chance has a, or any team in the East has a chance to land him, it is the Celtics. Um, it, it's cool to think about what they'll be able to do with a superstar. Um, that's pretty much what everyone said. They're a superstar away, and I think that is true. Um, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry about this. My camera's slipping like crazy. So, Indiana Pacers. I've got one reason for this, and that is because Paul George. Think about in my mind, thinking about Paul George and Kevin Durant, two of the best young wings in the league right now. If they were able to play beside each other, that would be that'd be just a treat to watch. I mean, not just because I'm a Pacers fan, uh, and by the way, they traded for Thad Young today. I'm very happy with that deal. But either way, they do land Kevin Durant. They don't. Kevin Durant to the Pacers would be, I think it'd be a lot of fun to watch. Seeing him get to play next to Miles Turner and Paul George, it, it would be fun. In, in a fast-paced offense in the East, getting to compete, compete with LeBron on a you know game-to-game -game basis, it, it would be fun to watch. There's no doubt about that. And the New York Knicks, you know, get him to get him to watch him play with Carmelo Anthony, Kristaps Porzingis, Derrick Rose. Again, that'd be a lot of fun to watch as well. Seeing him compete in the East, just it would be a change of tempo, and it'd be a lot of fun. Maybe not long term, but at least for a year. So the top three landing spots. So I'm going to go in order here of the order of which I think um, the teams have the best chance of landing him. And then obviously when I get down to number one, that's my prediction for where I think he'll end up after this offseason. So number three, San Antonio Spurs. I honestly think if he wants to win a championship, it sounds most enticing when you think about a combination of Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant, and LaMarcus Aldridge. The way Aldridge played in the playoffs this year, getting that amount of space to work with, you know, the, the just how much he'd be able to stretch the floor between Ka Kawhi's ability to drive and just make tough shots and just be a pure determination player. LaMarcus's, or LaMarcus Aldridge's ability as a mid-range shooter and ability to post up. And then obviously Kevin Durant's ability to just really do anything on the offensive end of the floor to create, shoot, all that stuff. My second option, Golden State Warriors. I think they have the best or second best chance of landing Kevin Durant. I also think they have the best chance outside of the Thunder. The Warriors, obviously with Kevin Durant, there's just, it to, to, in my mind, a lot of people think it would automatically be a juggernaut. And yeah, it probably would. But in my mind, there's just something that doesn't click there. I don't think the Warriors need more shooting. Like, I I don't know what they need. Um, I, I, you know, Kevin Durant's not a LeBron-type freak in nature. He's not that LeBron PG. I know they're different, but, you know, in my opinion, there's, top, there's the top three best wings in the NBA. I mean, there's Kawhi, too. But in my opinion, it's PG, uh, LeBron, and KD. And they're all very different players. 
but LeBron and PG are more defensive oriented. Um, not well, they're not more defensive oriented, but they're better defensively than KD. There's no doubt. KD has gotten better in his career on defense as it, as his career's progressed. But again, I think it'd just be more of I wouldn't say the same problem. I mean, they, if they had KD this year, they probably would have won the finals. They only lost it by four points. But again, I. Just something in my mind doesn't click. Um, feel free to share your opinions about that. I'm interested to actually hear all your opinions about that. And then, number one, obviously the OKC Thunder. A 3-1 to one series away from going to the NBA Finals. Who knows how that series would have gone. I Cavs Thunder would have been entertaining, but um, it, it, the matchups would have been a lot different. Now, the Thunder... The, there is home. It doesn't sound like he really wants to leave there. I I, I get the feeling that he wants to stay. Obviously, w w when the Thunder are fully healthy and going like they were this season, you can see how good they can actually be and that they can actually contend for an NBA Finals or an NBA Championship. So that pretty much does it for this video. Like I said, an interesting topic to talk about. I, it seems like I say that about every video, but that's why I do these. So... Feel free to leave your comments about where you think he's going to go, why you think he should go where, or why you think that my landing spots or what if spots were good or bad or whatever. That's pretty much it. So, yeah.